India is contemplating banning Bitcoin again. Just like an old man shaking his fist at the moon. You can count on two things. One, that the old man is deluded to think that the moon will take heed of his fist shaking. And two, that this is going to happen every single full moon. These kind of FUD events, they happen all the time during a bull run. Get used to it, prepare for it, just look at them as opportunities. Certainly don't panic when you see these kind of news come out. Even if India did crack down on Bitcoin, it wouldn't really matter in the end. If China can't effectively stop Bitcoin, then India is also not going to be able to do it. In this video, I will discuss the India FUD as well as the idea of whether a government can actually ban Bitcoin or not. My name's Lark, and every day I make videos to help you make money investing. So if that's what you want to do, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have one quick moment, just click on that thumbs up button down there. Just real quick for the YouTube algorithm would massively appreciate it. By the way, every single week I publish an investor report called Wealth Mastery. So in every single issue of this report, you are going to get just an insane amount of value. We're doing a deep dive on an altcoin. We're doing uh, top tier technical analysis. We're looking at the latest, hottest token sales. There's a decentralized finance tutorial. We do an interview with an industry leader and much, much more beyond that. It costs just 10 bucks a week, meaning that this is the most affordable investor report on the market and also the most value packed. Click on the link down below in the description to learn more about becoming a member today. So let's get into this topic. Here's the situation. The same old India is banning Bitcoin FUD is out there circulating again. India's this story comes up once every few months. Some politician starts yabbing their mouth off, talking about introducing a bill. And look, to be honest, it wouldn't really be a bull run if the India ban FUD wasn't making the rounds. A bit of FUD is healthy. It's typical. It let's us know things are going in the right direction. So on Sunday, Reuters published an interview with a senior Indian government official who said that the nation will almost certainly ban cryptocurrency. A pending bill will soon be introduced to Parliament to achieve this. Pretty bold statement. The Indian official also said that in addition to a ban on cryptocurrency trading, and of course cryptocurrency mining, that holding cryptocurrencies will also become a criminal offense punishable by up to 10 years in prison. That's, come on. What the actual duck, man? That's pretty, it's pretty extreme, don't you think? That's, 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 that's ridiculous. Pol screw politicians, man. The fact that they're even trying this, that this is their train of thought. Oh, if somebody holds Bitcoin, let's put them in prison for 10 years. So dumb. So dumb. Talk about being out of step with the times. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's 2017. They're calling. They want their talking points back. Gee, oh, that's... Holy cow, man. This is like the fifth time that Indian politicians have proposed banning cryptocurrency. There's been lots of draft bills proposed before. Will this one succeed? Not super likely. The finance minister has said that the government will provide a window of opportunity for crypto and that it is against a blanket ban. Now, the finance minister, not the supreme voice when it comes to actually making this decision, but just to let you know, not everybody is on board with this proposal from a certain group of politicians here. So what would actually happen, though, if the political elites of India actually passed a bill to ban and criminalize Bitcoin? Well, besides declaring that they are idiot politicians to the world, it wouldn't actually achieve very much else. First off, it's going to be challenged in the Supreme Court. You can guarantee that's going to happen. India's Supreme Court has already uh, established itself as an upholder of cryptocurrency investor rights. They already overturned a banking ban uh, last year. So this will probably get shot down in the courts as well. That is if, if it even passes. And will a Bitcoin ban actually stop people getting Bitcoin or holding Bitcoin or trading Bitcoin? No, of course, of course not. Bitcoin's borderless. It's completely uncensorable. Bitcoin will still flow in and out of India with zero problems along with all the other cryptocurrencies. Now, will it be harder for regular people to get their hands on Bitcoin? Yes. Yes, that's true. It will be. 
It'll make the viral uptake of cryptocurrency in India longer, slower, and harder. But at the same time, you know how much people love banned things. It's not going to stop it. Now, are there any cases of large economies like India successfully banning Bitcoin? Nope. In 2017, China tried to crack down on cryptocurrencies, severely restricting access to exchanges, shutting down cryptocurrency groups on social media apps. Other draconian measures came in. Now, did that actually stop the Chinese people from buying Bitcoin trading cryptocurrencies? Absolutely not. In fact, the crypto market now in China, with all these restrictions, is bigger than it has ever been. It's just on the black market. And what about Nigeria, the most recent country to join the we're going to ban Bitcoin crowd? Well, in February, they announced that exchanges would be banned and that financial institutions would have to close crypto-related bank accounts. Now, did that stop Nigerians from accessing cryptocurrencies? Will it? No, of course not. In fact, this is a population with a long history of walking around the barriers that their political leaders put in front of them. Capital controls, for example, have been the norm in Nigeria for years. Nigerians have worked out all kinds of ways to get around that. I just saw an article today as well saying that Nigerians are going crazy for stable coins and, of course, the yields that they can make with those stable coins. This is six weeks after the ban announcement. Obviously, it's not having the intended effect if people are still piling in to crypto. What it comes down to, governments are powerless to stop crypto. When you crack down, you just only create a black market, an unregulated market. Just regulate the damn thing. What, what's the problem? And if China and Nigeria have been powerless to stop cryptocurrency, then why would Indian politicians think that they're magically going to have success where others have so clearly failed? They're not going to have success. Their attempts will fail like all others. And it's really just such a short-sighted thing. Right now, we're witnessing mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. This is a time when many countries are actually rushing to adopt this technology, rushing to put in positive legislations to encourage these industries, trying to lure companies to their shores, saying, come do business here. We have favorable tax policies and all this stuff. And India's out there, we're going to ban Bitcoin, ban cryptocurrencies. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ma'am. Your question for today. Do you think that India will actually succeed in passing this bill? And if they do, is it even really going to matter? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.